Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. You gotta give yourself time to breathe, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the Mox didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so... What's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around, then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Nah, no, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. It's Merc, right? How much you know about the job? Eh, not much. Hans mentioned something about athletes and peeps evading taxes. Here's the sitch. At this academy, they're training, molding young athletes. Folks flying from across the world to meet them, sign contracts. You're going in as a scout for the San Diego Shredders. Name's Victoria Wilson, 28, and you're looking for a wide receiver. Scheduling you in their system now. You following all this? Got it. San Diego Shredders, Victoria Wilson, 28 years old, looking for a wide receiver. Well done. Just remember to keep a tight lip, no unnecessary chatter. Once you're in, find Fiona Varga's office, the Academy's director, and pull data on every scout who's ever signed a contract. Questions? What's a sports academy doing in Dogtown? Ah, they're all over the world. They make athletes stronger, better. But if you want to enhance them earlier than the legal age limit, where would you go? Where no one gives a shit. Or as it's more commonly known, Dogtown. Whatever Hansen says, goes. And nobody gives a fuck about the rest. 
Uh, cover story's a little thin. Ought to flesh it out, don't you think? No need. It's your way in, nothing more. Beyond that, avoid any talk about yourself. Just blend in, get the data, and get out. Hands a tax collector now? Yeah, I ain't buying it. How about shitload of Eddie's collector? Sound more believable? Job isn't glamorous, but it pays. All clear. Great. Quick scan, and... You're good to go. After you, Victoria Wilson. So he's a gentleman now. Who'd have thought? Later. Mrs. Wilson, You're if you'll join me, please. Your oh, what is it? Everything you see here is protected under an NDA. Should any information about our athletes be made public, our contract with the Diego Shredders will be terminated, effective immediately. Ouch, sounds serious. If I may, I suggest you start your visit at our world-class bar. Drinks are on the house. Well then, got my first mission for you. Need you to neutralize three shots of tequila, stat. Who's using these bots? Our verbal motoric integrated interface is used by scouts such as yourself remotely from Asia, Europe, Africa. Since not everyone can make a personal appearance in Dogtown, we've provided a solution. I'd like to speak with Dr. Fiona Vargas in private. Hmm, without an appointment? I'm afraid that won't be possible. Kids. Kids way too young for this kind of crime. Ladies and gentlemen, the next junior for the 2077-2078 season is Katie McCannon. He's a young but extremely talented soccer player, top scoring position, midfield. She's equipped with permanently reinforced ACLs and most excellent quadricep equipment. If you're interested in Katie, please see our starting. See if we spot on the other side of the rainbow. You have Becker if you give us a be right with you, man. Our next athlete, whom you'll have the pleasure of meeting, is Kelvin Golden Strickland. Kelvin These uh, the showcases happen often? Only when Dr. Vargas thinks an athlete is showing off, which is pretty odd. Dr. Fiona will make an appearance, these things. Nah, she's not really the type to mingle. Prefers sitting cooped up in her office downstairs. A uh, glass of grape tears, please. There you go. First time I take it. Which team are you scouting for? I'm with the San Diego Shredders, scouting for a wide receiver. You say the Shredders? Statistics are Small world. I'm Caden. Worked with Tomas two seasons back. Vicky Wilson. Wait, shopping for another wide out after re-signing your franchise stats leader? Man's an all-time deep threat. Uh, uh, what's his name? If life's taught me anything, it's not to talk to folks I don't know about biz that ain't theirs. Sorry, pal. Don't take it personally. <laughs> Bill, I think our friend here needs something stronger to loosen up. Work on your own drink, pal. Yeah. Fuck yourself, too. What the? That was tempered glass. 
what I wouldn't give to know the own secret. Sorry, I have to close the bar. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, but due to damaged equipment, this athlete showcases on. Now's our chance to sneak behind the scenes of this fucking circus. Johnny Silverhand asking me to get up from the bar? Something new every day.
Darn it. It's got... I... I was just looking for a... It's all right. What's your name? Tommy. How do you get in here? They let you out of your room? Well, I know a few tricks. My dad's a techie. He taught me a ton of stuff. Hi, <laughs> Tommy. My name's V. What you doing here? Uh, nothing. I'm just kind of here. In the director's office? Come on. I know you were looking for something. Yeah, sort of wanted to see if I got picked for a team. But still no one. It's not fair. I've got all the right skills. The right chrome. I'm super duper fast. Your day will come. Just takes time. That's all. It's just... well... I'm getting old. You? Old? Soon no one will want me. Not even the worst teams. Dad said I can't screw up because we live in Dogtown and... Career in sports is our last chance. Tough having that responsibility. But if it wasn't for your family, what would you want? Uh, have some fun, I guess. Or take a vacation. <laughs> That'd be neat. You're a good kid, Tommy. Know that. I know. Hey, chin up, kiddo. It'll all work out, you'll see. Say, little whiz like you wouldn't know where Fiona's terminal is, would you? Need it for a sec. It's right there. Can't you see? What would you look at that? Silly old me. See? I know everything. Yeah. <laughs> Clever little rascal. Now buck up and get out of here before Miss Fiona sees you. Yes, ma'am. I, I just need to find, uh, uh, that thing. Uh, I was just trying to help. Uh, please, Miss Fiona. Leave the boy out of this, please. Run along now, Tommy. Hop to it. But I didn't do nothing wrong. It's all right, Tommy. Go back to your room. We're reasonable people. I'm sure we can work something out. What is it you want? Password to the terminal, and the data of every suit you've done biz with. Transact. Contracts, agreements, whole enchilada. Uh, what do you intend to do with it? Someone got tired of your clients not paying their dues. I have a duty to protect my business and my clients. You understand that, I'm sure. Business? <laughs> the fucking gall. Think of the children. Would you really deprive them of their only chance for a better just life? Just gets better and better, this bitch. If you please, just hear me out. I'd like to make you an offer. Start talking, and it better make sense. Thank you. Come, let me show you something. See this? Posters and trophies? That's supposed to convince me? Mark Elway, 22 years old, exceptional basketball player. Monica Diaz, 25, ranked top 15 worldwide in tennis. And our brightest star, 
Al Ford, the NUSA's heavyweight champion at only 21 years old. Guessing I'm about to hear that this is all because of you. I helped them, me. And if you leak my clients, this center will go under and these kids' bright future darken quick. Including Tommy. His file's right here. You help me, you help him. It's a kind of cynicism that deserves a medal. Cheap plastic kind. You're using Tommy as a bargaining chip? We all have choices to make. Here's my offer. We do a controlled leak. I'll hand over the data of a few clients of secondary importance to me. Your employer wants names, transaction details. They'll get them. Everyone walks away happy. Those kids who end up on the street with post-op implant sickness, you don't think they hang their picks here too, do you? What are Tommy's chances of scoring a contract? Close to none. Out of the best players, only 15 to 20% get signed. Tommy will probably be going home. Doubt any scratch to maintain his chrome, regulate his organs, and keep his body functioning properly. That's how these things go. You either win big or go home. But maybe you can still help Tommy. His file doesn't have to stay on my desk. Why go to all this trouble? Well, if you really want to know, it's cheaper. Not because you're chipping kids that are too young for it. <laughs> you think we're the only ones? Name me one professional athlete without implants. You can't. The earlier you start, the better long term. Sports would be a snooze fest without them. How much are you making off these poor kids and their parents? Unlike your, uh, profession, I provide chances for a better life, not for free granted. But the parents know the risks. It's in their contracts. Knowing and understanding? Two different things. Go to Night City. Look at all those kids walking the streets alone. Can you claim they're better off than our future athletes? You're a real good Samaritan, huh? I'll accept your offer. Long as you make sure Tommy gets a contract. A good one. Done. You take part of the data and Tommy gets into some local European league. Won't be stardom, but it's still a dream come true. Hands are dirty enough. Thanks. <sighs> Data transferred. You let's not make this any longer than it needs Place to be, ought shall to burn we? With her inside it. You knew they're chipping kids there? Why so dramatic? It's an open secret by now. Everyone knows what goes on there. Few care. If I've offended your sense of moral decency, I do apologize. Contract closed. Until the next time, V.